My, 24F, Aunt, 54F, and Cousin, 31F, are pressuring me to give my cousin my baby. My cousin has just had a stillbirth and I want to be there for her, but it has gotten so overwhelming. How can I balance and manage my familial relationships while pregnant? I, 24F, am currently 24 weeks pregnant with a girl. Although she was an unexpected surprise, my partner, 24M, and I are ecstatic and look forward to parenthood. I lost my mama when I was young so we are planning to name this baby after her less than three. Most of my family and friends have been really supportive of me in my pregnancy as I enter this new stage of life. However, my cousin and my aunt, who acted, or at least tried to, as a mother figure and a female role model to me and my sister since my mother's passing, have been causing issues. My cousin, 31F, has been struggling with infertility for about five years now and has witnessed its ups and downs. Me, my sister, and all of our family members have been trying our best to be sensitive to her circumstances and have been supporting her through the process. She had a miscarriage five years ago and was diagnosed with having a diminished ovarian reserve two years ago, meaning that her egg quantity and quality are considerably lower compared to other women her age. She immediately started the IVF process and after two rounds, she miraculously got pregnant late 2022. She had complications with the pregnancy, including preeclampsia, and went into labor at 30 plus two weeks in the summer. Unfortunately, her baby girl was very weak at birth and died hours after she was born. Everything my cousin has struggled with over the past five years hit her hard and she suffered from an extreme depression for months afterwards. She has refused to seek therapy, which we believe would be beneficial to her state, apart from a couple of appointments initially because she says she feels misunderstood and angered towards the professionals trying to make her feel better. She still desperately wants a baby, but refuses to seek treatments again due to trauma and a lack of hope. I hope this context helps you all understand the situation I'm going to talk about and if applicable, provide any advice to help us guide our cousin to some sense of recovery. After finding out about my pregnancy, I announced it to my family and friends in February. I made sure to text slash tell my cousin individually before she heard about my pregnancy elsewhere so she can initially process the news herself privately. According to my other cousins and aunt, she did not take the news well and went into a rage. When I saw her afterwards she was more reserved and rather cold. A week later, she said she wanted to hang out and have a private one-on-one chat, which I agreed to. We talked over ice cream and went back to her and her husband's home. She showed me her baby stuff that had been untouched for months since her loss. She told me she saw so much of the baby she lost last year in my own baby and how God brought my baby into our lives for a special reason. She asked me if I'd be willing to allow her to adopt this baby into her home to be raised by her and her husband. I refused. She asked why. For a lack of a better and stronger response in the moment, I said that both me and my partner wanted to care for our child and that I was sorry for her loss and that I was sure a miracle would come her way. She blew up at me and called me a bunch of names. I knew she was struggled and very traumatized so I tried not to let her words of the moment get to me. She said how me and my partner didn't deserve our baby because we weren't married yet, we are engaged and planning the wedding for next year, and how she and her husband could provide our baby with a better and more stable life as more deserving and respectable parents. She then kicked me out. My aunt later texted and called me trying to reason with me on my refusal. She said I should give my baby to her daughter. She emphasized that I would still get to see her as she would be within the family, and that I could have more kids later on as I was still young. She said that babies were more than fun little humans and that based on her experience nurturing me, I wasn't ready yet. She continued with this pressure and guilt trip. She apparently gave out my number to her other relatives and friends at church. They have also been texting me and urging that I be more sympathetic to my cousin and her situation. My relatives were more chill, but, her church friends were saying terrible and demeaning things about me that I blocked them. I try to avoid my aunt and my cousin as much as I possible can. I want to be there for my cousin, but it's becoming really difficult. My aunt has been trying to dictate my life and choices as my only motherly figure since I was a child and she won't stop. I found out my cousin has been telling people that she is soon getting a baby and that her life will be complete again. They think I'll come around and be overwhelmed once I face the realities of parenthood. This is all just so crazy and frightening to me. If you have any advice or just ways to de-stress in general, please let me know. Me and my partner have quietly moved and very few people know our new address. My cousin and aunt both know we have moved but do not know where. We also recently got married in a small private ceremony. We will likely do a bigger ceremony next year. I am not sure what the situation with my cousin slash aunt will be like next year and whether they will be invited slash would come to our bigger wedding, especially with the baby. So far my partner's family has been very supportive and understanding of me and the circumstances. I feel less alone and more confident with their support.
We have also taken other precautions related to the birth and security. The baby is doing all right and we are both very excited for the birth to meet our sweet baby girl. We already adore her and are ready to protect her. Unfortunately, my cousin is still baby crazy and desperately wants a baby to fix her life. I found out through gossip from friends slash relatives and other sources that she has been engaging in questionable and rather predatory social media behavior. She has been joining pregnancy slash baby related groups and reaching out to vulnerable members who have shared their struggles offering to take slash adopt their babies. She apparently harassed a young widow for her baby in an effort to save the child and has gotten banned from a considerable amount of groups slash communities that way. She also has been more active on social media with posts and is publicly sharing her fertility struggles and considering IVF treatment again. Beyond her social media activities, I found out that she is waiting for my child to be born and wants to regain proper contact with me as before my pregnancy. I have her blocked on most sources of communication and I don't believe she has tried to contact me so far. My aunt is still upset with me and badmouthing me to other family and her church friends. I am sometimes getting hostile text messages slash voicemails and even phone calls from those she poisoned against me but no physical confrontation since I've moved and don't attend church. My aunt is also pressing my father for details about me and to get in contact again. I haven't told him much about our move and he has promised to keep any sensitive information about me private, especially from my aunt slash cousin and those in the family that are close to them. Out of the two, my aunt has definitely been the more aggressive one towards me. In May, right before my move, she came to my apartment and waited outside in the parking lot until I got home from work. I thought she was going to cuss me out, but she said she wanted to catch up with me at the cafe near the church and asked me which car I wanted to take. Her friendliness felt very fake to me and I was considerably uncomfortable with the whole situation so I made excuses and refused to go. She then started gaslighting and arguing with me on everything that has been happened. She told me to just wait until the baby is born and that I will succumb to the pressures of parenting and stress in no time. She said some very hurtful things about me and my partner and said how my baby deserved to be raised in a godly household with two believing parents. I know she did not like my partner beforehand because he is not Christian and for other reasons, but she spoke in a very anti-Semitic about my partner. She said that she fears that my baby will be misguided and confused with her parents' religious differences and that since I have a full-time job slash career as well as my partner, my baby will not receive enough attention and care from my parents. She believes that a child must be raised under a strong foundational religion with a strong father and an attentive, guiding mother to succeed and not go down an amoral spiral once they get older. Apparently only my stay-at-home cousin and her provider husband can provide these ideal conditions. Thankfully, my neighbor stopped by and her presence cooled the confrontation down. I firmly told my aunt to leave and complained to the manager about my aunt with my neighbor. I walked down the street and hide in another complex with a friend until my partner came and got me. My aunt apparently sat down at the edge of the parking lot waiting for me as I talked to the manager in his office and left after about 30 minutes. We have this incident recorded and have taken more precautions. We have threatened my aunt with legal action for any escalations, but we also don't want to provoke her too much and be harassed further. That incident has been causing me stress and I will not going anywhere where my aunt slash cousin will be. I have skipped two family events because I know they will be there. Although I feel more secure at the moment with the move and marriage, I am still very wary and wish for things to settle down after my baby's birth and with time. I am planning to post another update sometime after the baby is born if nothing else major happens and when time slash safety permits. Once again, thank you for your support and please take care. This will be a small update. We got in contact with the local church leader and talked to them about the situation with my aunt and cousin, who are both active members. We talked to him for a while. He initially dismissed my concerns as personal conflict between family and tried to refer us over to counseling services. We explained to him that my cousin is dealing with trauma from her baby's death and that she is having false hopes about adopting my baby, which would be raised in a good home. We also told him that my aunt is feeding into those hopes and has been harassing me on her behalf, causing disturbance and a lot of stress. He told me he understood my side and that he knew what my cousin has been going through with her inability to have kids. He said he would contact my aunt and cousin to see what they have to say about the situation. I talked again with him today. He said that my aunt and cousin would like to speak with me and that they were concerned that I stopped communicating with them, especially since I moved away. I explained to him that their behavior regarding my baby influenced me to do those things and pressed him on what they said. He said that my cousin had talked with a church therapist and was looking into adoption to start a family because her IVF treatments were likely not going to produce a child with her condition. I emphasized to him that I was not giving up my baby and that my cousin had been thinking such. He said that understood that and started asking me for personal details on how I was doing now. He was again trying to set up a meeting between us and my aunt slash cousin and referring us to services. 
I told him I was not comfortable with that at the moment and he told me to at least call my cousin once. He said he will meet with my aunt on Sunday since I was too scared to do on my own. Our call ended after that. I'll comment any update on what he says in the coming days under this post. Edit, I'll also edit this post to make the update easier to find since I don't want to create a whole different post on it. Edit, I am not satisfied with his response and do not like that he is putting pressure on me with reconnect with my aunt and cousin. He says he understands my concerns, but I think he is being rather dismissive of them and trying to force us to resolve our issues. My partner and I thought it was worth a shot reaching out to him to because he has influence and religious authority over my aunt slash cousin. I'll see what he says on the next phone call and see what I can do to make him care more. Edit, to make clear, I didn't give him any personal information and have no plans for any in-person meeting with my aunt and cousin. We are in contact with legal help. We do not live in Utah. Update, we spoke again with the bishop. He said that there isn't much he can personally do to resolve the situation within his capacity between me and my aunt slash cousin other than refer to counseling services. I asked him if he did meet with my aunt and he said he did. Their conversation was apparently focused on my cousin and helping her heal. He told me my cousin was also grieving the loss of communication with me and my sister who hasn't been talking much to her anymore. I told him that my cousin was trying to take my baby to replace hers and that her and my aunt's behavior was threatening the safety and well-being of me and my family. I think he was losing interest in the conversation so he just told me to do whatever I feel is best for my family, but to consider the grief my cousin has been through and contact family counseling services for further help on this matter. Me and my partner sent him an email afterwards with a copy to our lawyer to close off communication. I decided to unblock my cousin and send her a message. I told her that my partner and I are keeping our baby and that is not up for discussion. I encouraged her to seek proper therapy if she hasn't already done so and told her that I am not comfortable with her, her husband, or my aunt being involved in my child's life. She hasn't responded yet. Regardless of what she says, our relationship will not return to as it was before and she will not be a part of my child's life.